Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm showing you how to make a snow angel without modeling in Blender 2.9. So let's get started. Let's start with a default scene, which I'll get right now. All right, so we have a default scene. Let's just make a plane and scale it out. No, we don't need to scale it out. Let's uh, go into the shading, make a quick snow material. We'll just get a noise texture, get a bump node, plug the fac into the height and the normal into the normal. Then let's bring the detail up to like 16, scale it, and the roughness up too. We might need to bring the strength down a bit. I think 0.4 is good. Maybe 0.5. 0.6 that should be a good snow material maybe bring the roughness down a little less and 0.4 is good all right so there's our snow material now let's get a character so we're gonna go on to Mixamo and I'll use tie we don't need any animations but I'm just gonna use the tie character from Mixamo. You can use any character, but I think this one will be good. Take off the animations if you have any on him. And yeah, just download him and bring him into your scene. To bring him into your scene, go into File, Import, FBX, and then wherever you downloaded him, Tie. Now let's go into Layout, rotate him on the X, negative 90, and bring him forward on the Y. Scale him down, bring him backward on the Y, 0.15. Now, let's get another plane, bring him down. No, we don't need another, well, in the edit mode, scale it out. Let's scale it out twice. And control R, control R, and delete these faces. Not the vertices, faces. Okay, so now that we have that, we can make this, let's bring this down a little bit. Make 0 0.01, maybe even less. Let's go 0, negative 0 0.0001. And then make this a parent or a child of this. Okay. So this plane, we're gonna want to make it a uh, dynamic paint canvas. We'll make the surface type displace, and that's it. Now for all the meshes on the character, we're gonna make them dynamic paint, but brushes. Let's do this for every uh, every mesh on the character. And if you want footsteps, all you would have to do is just the dynamic paint of the, or you just have to have brushes for the feet. Now make sure in edit mode, we subdivide this 10 times and then subdivide it again and again and again and again. Mm, there we go, that's good. Now, if you look underneath, if we hide all the meshes, you should see a hole. We could subdivide this or shade smooth. I think all you need to do is shade smooth. Let's bring down the strength to 0.2 and let's get animating. So in animation, let's go into pose mode. Turn on auto keyframing while you're here. Delete all of the keyframes already in here. And frame one, let's rotate these arms 90 degrees. Let's bring the armature up a little bit. Go to frame 40 and on the Z, rotate it to like 30. And same on the other, but opposite. And then on 80, bring it back in 30. And for the arms, let's do the same thing, but on frame zero. Let's do rotated in 50, 
frame 40, rotate it out, negative 80, and frame 80 back to that, and same on the other side. Let's see how it looks. We might subdivide this one more time. Subdivide. And bring the end frame to 80. Maybe bring the head up a little bit. Maybe bring the hands down a little bit. And let's check how it looks. We might want to hide all of this. And if we made a nice snow angel. So there's how you make a snow angel without making any modeling except for just some subdivisions, which I don't really count that as modeling. But yeah, you can put this as just like a nice, you can bake this. Or if you go into the properties tab of this plane, you can go in here and apply this. And then it just becomes an object with no frame data. So you could just have this as just a background detail for any of your renders. It doesn't count that much on uh, polygons, but if you want to cut down even less, you can go into decimate. And you can probably decimate quite a lot without really affecting your thing. Like even... 0.6 doesn't look like it changes at all, but in the wireframe, it definitely gets rid of a lot of polygons. Even 0.3 looks like barely noticeable, the change. 0.2, yeah, 0.3 is pretty much as good as you're gonna get. But look at that, that saves on a ton of polygons and you barely can even tell the difference. And it's just a nice detail for like a winter scene. You can also add some shoe prints or any prints you want. I think it's just a good detail effect for any of your renders for a winter time render. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe. We just hit 400 subscribers at the time of recording this and that's really cool. Thank you guys so much. Uh, let's try to hit uh, 10,000 by the end of next year. I know that's really, we'll probably only get to 2,000, but 10,000 is going to be our goal. Gosh dang it. So yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.